Hey guys, welcome to today's budget check-in video. So for today, we are gonna check in with the first week of October. So I have my Prosper Daily Planner here in front of me. And in the monthly view, I like to track bills as well as unbudgeted expenses and gas. So we'll take a look at what is going on with bills. We are going to stuff our cash envelopes for the week as well as take a look at what we've spent already. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. By the way, everything I am using, obviously with the exception of the Apple Pencil and the iPad itself, is linked down below in the description box. I am actually running a sale in my Etsy shop currently. Everything, including the planners, the budget kits, all of that, is 25% off until Sunday, October 10th. So it's the perfect time to pick some goodies up if you are interested, but yeah. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I'm gonna take a look at is bills. So we haven't had a lot of transactions go on this past week. We had our mortgage come out, our HOA, our gym membership. We also did have water and trash. Andrew, Andrew got some gas, which I will track here in just a moment. And then I am filming this on the 6th. I need to go to Orange Theory like today and go cancel because I think they do a thing where, I'm sure I'll still get charged on the 7th, but you have to put in your cancellation notice, I believe like 30 days in advance, and I don't wanna get charged for November. So yeah. And there's another lovely scam likely call. I've been getting a billion of those lately. If anyone has any tips or tricks, by the way, for blocking the scam people, please let me know, cause it's driving me insane. <laughs> All right, so that is all that's going on in the monthly view. So let's pop on over to our weekly check-in page and get started there. So for our categories that we are going to track, um, we're gonna track grocery, household, eating out, gas, and unbudgeted. I had debated putting lashes in here because that is a cash category, but I really, I mean, I'm gonna go either twice or three times a month. I don't really think I need to as meticulously track that as these other categories. So we're just gonna go ahead and stick with this for now. So let's go ahead and take a look at our wallet and what we've been spending so far. So this is a fossil wallet and in the back little zipper pocket here, I've got all these dividers. So I'm gonna take a look at grocery and what we have remaining there. We take out $140 per week cash for grocery and we currently have $65 remaining. So if we do some math here, we took out 140 and we spent 65 so that means that we spent $75 this past week. I feel like our grocery spending is just on point lately and I'm very happy about that. So, um, okay, so remaining we have $65 and then as I mentioned, we are going to add $140 to that, which is going to be $205. Hopefully I did my math correctly. I'm pretty sure I did. I feel like I should know how to do that type of simple math, but I swear like mom brain, business brain, my brain's just pulled in a lot of directions. So sometimes simple things like this are more challenging for me these days. But anyway, so 65 here, and then we're gonna add 140. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, and 40. And let's go ahead and just count this, make sure it's correct. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 205. So that is all good to go there. I will go ahead and pop that right back into my wallet at a weird angle because I'm trying to get it on camera. It's always like, maybe I just need to sit closer. I don't know, it's always, I feel like kind of challenging, but anyways. All right, and then household, we have nothing in household. I picked up some cleaners from Target as well as some body wash. And then um, Andrew did get, where did I just, oh, there we go. Um, Andrew got some toilet paper from um, Costco. So between all those things, we have $0 remaining or I'm sorry, we spent 40, we have $0 remaining. So $40 was spent, we take out $40 cash each week, we had zero remaining, and then we're gonna add 40. So we'll just do 20 and 40, and I think Andrew actually just went today and got some diapers, so we might need to deposit some cash. So I'm just gonna put that $20 in the household section and then next we'll take a look at eating out so i'm going to pull that out 
So for eating out, we take out $60 per week and we have 20, 40, 50, 55, 56 remaining. So we only spent $4 for eating out. I have no idea what that was for, but um, so 56 remaining and we take out 60 per week. So there's 20, 40, and 60. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 115, 116. For eating out. And I'm sure Andrew just like probably went and got a coffee or something like that. So I'm gonna put that back into eating out. And then for lashes, I haven't gone to my lash appointment yet, so I have all 240. Let me double check and just make sure. Sometimes money gets jumbled around, so I feel like it's worth it just to make sure everything's correct. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, yep. So my appointment with her is actually next week on the 14th. And I'm very, very excited for that. And then I'm going to go every two weeks. And it should be, um, unless her price has changed, it should be $60 every two weeks to go get them filled. But the initial application is more expensive, which is why I took more cash out. And then I still have all 50 of my cash remaining here. But I did go, as you guys will see in a minute, I did go and get some weights. So I actually need to put 20 of this back into the bank to cover those weights. Um, I did sign up for Beachbody on demand, so I'm gonna be doing the Lift 4 program. It was one of my favorite programs back when I was doing Beachbody consistently. I think the trainer's name is Joel or Joe or something like that, but it's all like weightlifting, and that is my jam. I love lifting weights. My favorite form of cardio is walking, <laughs> um, which I know is not like super intense or anything but I love walking like I love it so much and I do eventually want to learn how to rollerblade um, I have no idea how to rollerblade but I'd like to learn and I'd like to start running again eventually too I haven't consistently ran for like years now but the couch to 5k program is really good so I may start doing that at some point yeah so that's what's going on with pocket money I'm gonna go today and get a color change on my nails so I'll probably use um, the pocket money for that and then while I'm out I'll probably cancel Orange Theory. So that is what's going on with cash envelopes. That is all set to go. And then the next thing we're going to do is take a look at gas. So for gas we just had 53.25. 53.25. And we budgeted, that looks really weird but whatever. Okay. Um, we budgeted, let's see. 160 for gas. So we spent 53.25 and then we have 106.75 remaining there. And Andrew hasn't been doing DoorDash, so I think we will be completely fine as far as gas is concerned. I don't think he has plans to go the rest of the month. I'm not sure, but. Um, but that is all good. And then for unbudgeted, we did not have any unbudgeted expenses, which are always, it's always a good thing. So do zero there. And that is all set. So that takes care of our actual weekly check-in page. And then I will share with you guys what is going on for sinking funds. So all of Andrew's pocket money is gone. Um, he always usually takes that out at the very beginning of the month. And then um, for the girls, I did get Julia some more zipper jammies. Those have been working beautifully. A lot of you guys recommended zipper jammies because she had been taking off her diaper um, like during nap time and bedtime, which as you can imagine is a bit messy and not so fun to deal with. And she, we got her three pairs of them. They're working beautifully, but her being two, like they get dirty pretty quickly. So. Um, so I just went ahead and got her three more pairs of jammies so that she's got plenty. And then for medical, we did get some allergy medicine. And then, like I mentioned, I did pick up some weights. I got three pound, five pound, eight pound, and 10 pound weights. So I should be good to go for a while there. Eventually, I'd like to get 12 pound, 15 pound, 20, and all of that. But I'm just starting with those four. 
So, um, and they came in really cute colors um, at Target. And they, I felt like they actually weren't that bad. I feel like $95 for four sets of weights is really not that bad. And then I did get Halloween costumes for the girls today. They are currently obsessed with My Little Pony. And Target does have a buy one, get one half off sale on their Halloween costumes. So I just went ahead and ordered them. Actually, I probably need to go pick those up. I need to go run errands today. Um, let me see if they're ready to be picked up. Yep, I just said your order is ready at Surprise. So I will need to go pick that up while I'm out today too. So definitely need to go run some errands. Um, and then Andrew did go to the chiropractor today as well, and that was $26. So that is what is going on with sinking funds currently. My children are out there being crazy, if you guys can hear them. But um, it's lunchtime. It's, yeah, it's 1230, so Jules is about to go down for her nap. But anyways, that is it for this weekly check-in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below how is October going for you so far? Are there any big goals, financial goals that you are trying to accomplish? I'd love to chat with you about it down in the comments. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up to let me know and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so so you don't miss any future videos. Definitely hit the bell notification too so you're notified when I post new videos. And I will chat with y'all later. Bye.